This seminar is brought to you by Triton. I'm Captain George Gods, host of Real Time Florida Sportsman. Today I'm just going to give you a couple quick tips on how I launch my boat. I do it over 250 times a year and every day it's by myself. You may be able to pick up a few pointers that I use to help you better at the ramp. You know, when I pull up to the ramp, I stop the loading area, throw in some last minute items, take the trailer strap off, make sure the drain plug's secure. I use a midship uh, boat cleat for my dock line. It's the only one that I really use when I'm launching. And I, what I do is I go ahead and take the safety chain off and the strap. I do it here now. I know that my ramp is not that steep. My boat is not going to move. I back up really slowly. You would not want to do this on a steep ramp. Um, you wouldn't want to do this with the roller trailer either. What I do is I go ahead and I pick a dock that's downwind side. I want the boat to be able to you know, push towards the dock if it gets off the trailer. Back up slowly, really slowly. Um, and I know that, that sweet spot on my boat where it begins to slide off. And I don't want to back up quickly. I don't want to go too far where the boat slides off. I just want it just to barely float. So I back up real slow until I get to that point. Go ahead and put the truck in park, secure the emergency brake. You know, as a courtesy to other boaters, especially on the weekends when these ramps are crowded, what you might want to do is slide your boat as far back as you can just before you secure it to the dock. That way, when you pull out, you give another boater an opportunity to back up and launch his trailer. You're not slowing the whole process up. You know, pulling your boat out by trailer is a little bit trickier than probably launching for most people. Um, what I like to do is when I pull up to the dock is I like to pick a dock that's downwind. That way, the boat is, you know, gradually pushed into the dock. It makes it a lot easier for docking. I'll go ahead and secure the boat, run up, and get the truck and trailer. And you know, what I've found over time is, is don't back that trailer up too far. You know, keep those bunks out of the water a little bit in the front, and what that will help do is help guide that boat onto the trailer. You know, when pulling your boat up on the trailer, let the guide post, let the guide bunks do the job. Slowly move your way up the trailer. What I like to do is I like to use the power, and I push that boat all the way up to the trailer hitch with the eye. Just keep the power applied, I run up to the front, I hook up the, the strap, secure it, tighten it down, go back, come off the power, trim the motor up, and we're done. And one other thing I want to add is, you know, again, as a common courtesy, especially on busy weekends at these ramps, is when you pull your boat out, pull it all the way out of the way. You know, give other people opportunity to utilize the ramp, get your boat out of the way before you go and start putting straps on and getting everything out of the boat.